Welcome to our second session of our walk through Ephesians. I'm Pastor Lynn Ogren and I serve at Bethel Lutheran Church in Brush Prairie, Washington. We are looking at uh, this, this letter to the Ephesians through the lens of faith formation. If you look at the logo that accompanies this post, you'll see that at the center is the cross of Christ, which we talked about last week. And then surrounding that cross, the first circle says respectful relationships. And so that's what we're going to look at today. Our reading for today comes from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 11 to 22. So then, remember that at one time you Gentiles by birth, called the uncircumcision by those who are called the circumcision, a physical circumcision made in the flesh by human hands, remember that you were at that time without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers to the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who were once far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace. In his flesh he has made both groups into one, and has broken down the dividing wall, that is, the hostility between us. He has abolished the law with its commandments and ordinances, that he might create in himself one new humanity in place of the two, thus making peace, and might reconcile both groups to God in one body through the cross, thus putting to death that hostility through it. So he came and pro proclaimed peace to you who were far off and peace to those who were near. For through him, both of us have access in one spirit to the Father. So then you are no longer strangers and aliens, but you are citizens with the saints and also members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets with Christ Jesus himself as the cornerstone. In him the whole structure is joined together and grows into a holy temple in the Lord, in whom you also are built together spiritually into a dwelling place for God. Here ends the reading. So whether you are alone today or with others, I invite you to think about and perhaps talk about who some of the people at Bethel Lutheran Church are that you look forward to seeing when you come to worship or other church events. If you belong to a different church, think about who it is that you look forward to seeing when you come to church, whether it's for worship or for some other event. I'll let you pause the video for this if you'd like to think about it. At the beginning of the pandemic, I hoped that the need to care for one another and to fight a common battle against COVID-19 would become an opportunity for people to come together. I hoped that some of the divisions that had been escalating would subside, at least for a while, and we would find a measure of unity in our care for one another. And there was some of that. We encouraged our first responders and other normally unseen people who do so much in our society. We supported restaurants and other small businesses, but restaurants particularly by ordering takeout more than we did before. And for the first and for the most part, people followed the rules to help stop the spread, at least for a while. But over the course of this past year, other divisions became wider. It is hard to live together when our opinions and beliefs and perspectives differ so greatly. In this second chapter of Ephesians, Paul points out the division between Christians of Jewish heritage and Gentile or non-Jewish Christians. The Gentiles hadn't experienced the same history of God's saving work that the Jews had grown up with. The Jewish Christians wanted to keep some of their rituals and the Gentiles didn't find the same meaning in them. Paul is calling both sides to come together, to see one another as part of the same family of God. Faith formation relies on being involved in a community of faith 
that is centered on Christ and based in respectful relationships. We may not always agree with each other. We like different styles of worship music and we participate in different ministries and we have different opinions about our future together. The key is to stay together. The word Bethel means house of God and we live into that identity when we gather and develop relationships with one another centered on our faith in Christ. We can be in respectful relationships even when we don't agree because Jesus is the mortar that joins us together making us a dwelling place for God. Let us pray. Oh God, sometimes we struggle to respect one another, even those we worship and serve with at church. Open our hearts to listen and learn from others and to remember that you love them just as you love us. Grant us your peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. As a follow-up to this devotion, I invite you to think about someone that you have a difficult time being in relationship with. And then make a list of all the things that you have in common. And then maybe from that experience, you might seek an opportunity to get to know that person a little bit better. Have a blessed day.